you know, I think that we <clears throat> try not to overfocus on valuations on any point in time. I think the general philosophy around investing for us has always been the same, and it's really around are these going to be transformative companies that are the most important ones in their industry. Um, their valuations that that will end up being, I think, is going to be dependent on a lot of things that are outside of our control. So it really is more about is this going to be the leader in this sector, in this market, period, um, regardless of what the valuation of that means, because it's hard to predict what that will be in five or six years or whatever it is. And you started as a Sequoia founder, became a partner. What have you learned uh, since becoming a partner that you didn't know when you were just a founder? What's the number one thing you've learned? I think that um, probably, I sort of learned it when I was a founder, but I, I got it more, I don't, it certainly doesn't need to be a Sequoia commercial, but like what I, what I remember when I was a founder at AdMob, I was, it, was, it was just me there, and I was incubated at Sequoia, and about two months in, um, YouTube was acquired. And YouTube obviously was a huge acquisition. Very, you know, one year I think after Sequoia invested, I thought there was going to be a party and champagne bubbles. And I remember going into the office, and everybody was kind of upset. And um, that was terrifying as a founder, because it just pointed to the fact that this was a not mean but very serious place about building big things. And I was really scared that I wasn't going to be able to to sort of deliver on that. And I think that being inside. I've, I've had a lot of reinforcement of that, but it's not, it's not in a way where it's as scary as I thought it was. I think there's a lot of humanity to it that might not come through, but it, it's pretty serious about building big companies, I would say. I, I did so not you really thought you were going to a that. party, yeah. but you were actually going to a wake. A little bit. <laughs> hey, everybody. I am so, so excited to tell you about a new partner we have here at This Week in Startups. This is an amazing one. It's called Wonder Capital with a U, W-U-N-D-E-R Capital. And what they are doing is they're helping you combat global climate change and make money at the same time. All right, here's how it works. They are an award-winning online investment platform that lets you invest in solar energy projects across these United States of America. And you can earn up to 8.5% annually. Do you know what your money's making right now in a savings account? Go take a look. It's not 8.5%. And this will diversify your portfolio and it will curb pollution and combat global climate change, which if you're listening to this program, you have a very high IQ, you're a very refined individual, and you know that global climate change is a real issue. If you're listening to This Week in Startups, you're obviously not a dummy. Your investment goes directly into helping U.S. SMBs install solar panels. You know what SMBs are if you're listening to this program, small and medium-sized businesses. And those businesses will repay their loans to wonder with a U, and you get monthly payments directed into your bank account, right? Direct deposit, right in there. Best of all, Wonder Capital takes no fees for investing your money. Kind of screwing it up for me. I, my, I take 20%, 25% of what my LPs give me. I get a carry, but Wonder Capital takes no fees. They offset the CO2 emissions from almost 3 million pounds of coal burned. How amazing is that? I'm so proud that they're a sponsor of this program. They're supporting independent media, and they're going to help you make up to 8.5% a year. This is what the true fans of This Week in Startups need to do right now. Go create a free account at wondercapital.com slash twist. Remember, that's with a U, W-U-N-D-E-R capital.com slash twist. And you can do well and do good at the same time. I've heard of triple uh, bottom line companies. This one feels like a quadruple bottom line company. Look at the U.S. small businesses here in the United States of America. We're going to make America great again. They're going to get loans for their solar. You're going to get an 8.5% return. The planet is going to get saved. And hey, Wonder is probably going to do pretty well too. Quadruple bottom line capitalism from Wonder Capital. Wondercapital.com slash twist. And if you're a super fan of the show, say thank you at Wonder Capital for supporting at Jason and TWI Startups. Go ahead and do that on Twitter, and I will like it and retweet it. All right, let's get back to this amazing program. 